fire department and you know if they know what they want and what's going to work for them as far as retention and recruiting new people um, I hope they'd bring it to the committee and bring it to the council and we can take it from there but it was a good meeting I felt mm -hmm. I felt really good yeah, about really after good. the meeting it it wasn't um, it wasn't hostile. We had some very good discussion, and, and um, I think we both have ideas what to do to move forward. So, you know, all smaller communities are having the same problem. Right. They really are. I was surprised today. I had the radio on, and they were doing some radio broadcasting from Glencoe. Glencoe has a population of 5,500 people. They have 36 firefighters. So they're really in worse shape than we are as far as numbers. Percentage wise, yeah. Yeah, percentage wise. So I mean it it just because you're a bigger city that doesn't mean that you're gonna have a lot more people stepping forward and, and committing themselves to to um, joining. So I got a um, I think Liza forwarded a, a um, memo from Chief Zasky that he had attended a a um, fire chiefs for the county meeting. Mm -hmm. And some of the fire chiefs, uh, one has a, I think they call it a coffee squad, where it might be some of the older guys that they, they're kind of helpers. They don't go running into the building with a hose, but they might be able to drive the truck or help clean up afterwards and relieve some of the fire. And I think Hamburg, was that the other one? Hamburg, oh, no, wait a minute, no. one of the other communities has a similar thing, and I forgot what they call them, but they they weren't full-fledged firefighters per se, but they were able to, to help out some, you know, maybe looking at retired people. So there's a lot of ideas floating out there as to what could be possible to help fill, fill the gaps. Hmm. That's all we have, Mr. Okay. Mayor. Thank you very much. Met too, so they didn't get put on this list. I don't know if yeah, I wrote that down. We um, had a very nice meeting. Um, it's the first meeting with um, Holly Croft, our new our new uh, rep, and um, we spoke about. Uh, it was just a brainstorming uh, meeting, really, to, to not come up with goals, but to discuss what's been going on and and to kind of give us a direction on where we wanted to go. Um, Mayor Naga was there and <coughs> and uh, introduced his uh, one of his goals for the ADA, and uh, we welcomed that with open arms. Plus, arms plus, uh, Holly had brought in um, uh, I think three pages of ideas on, on what would we like to do, and we said yes to everything. <laughs> so it's going to be a very very exciting and busy year, I think, with uh, the ADA. All right. Any comments about the uh, tour we had of the city facilities tonight? Wastewater treatment plant, water plant, and water excellent. tower, and water tower. <laughs> Very thorough. Yes. I can't believe how high that ladder is to climb up to get up to the oh, top. You didn't, you didn't, <laughs> that's like you, you didn't even see the top. I saw the ladder. I saw well, that. The it goes up way up there. Feet. That's just the bottom of it. <laughs> Not even. No, he, I think we um, did a great job, um, job. explaining job. every um, every uh, stage and what the what our water goes to and uh, how it gets treated and how we get it to our houses and, and that sort of thing. It was really great. Mm -hmm. A little chilly. A little chilly. But really great. One thing that was interesting on the water tower. Um, Lee explained that you just can't have the water sitting up there. It has to churn, otherwise it gets, especially in the summertime. So they have a pump that pumps a bubble up the pipe and, a bloop, and it turns the water. And I know how many... We don't have that. I thought we had. What no, do we no, have? So but that's a new thing. Yeah. It's a new thing. So they, they used to have things like recirculating pumps that are up on top, but they don't have those anymore. 
So we what, never had one of what those. What do we have? What? We have a recirculating pump that's underneath the ground. Okay. Or underneath the... Oh, I thought he said we had I the thought, bubble. I thought we had the bubble. That's what I guess. No, he's CIP. looking. Yeah, he's oh, in he's a looking into yeah. the CIP. Oh, okay. He wants that big bubble. A bubble machine. <laughs> a big bubble. He wants a big bubble machine. <laughs> so will the water tower sound like it's burping when it goes yeah. out? Yeah. Well, there you go. That's uh, right. Something or, like that. Like he joined us at the park. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys. So it's a great tour. Yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was excellent. I think anybody that questioned why their water costs it, they does what it does, just <coughs> needs to do that tour. Yeah, yeah. They, they, may, they may understand. <laughs> Open my eyes up. Yeah. Good and point. don't flush wipes down the toilet. Even if they say they're flushable, they're not. Yeah. They're not, yes. No, it's the manufacturer's. They're the guilty party on those because they're telling you it's safe. It's a good way to dispose of them. There's been a number of efforts in the legislature to ban sales of those yeah. products. Uh, they've failed so far, but I'm sure it'll be brought up again for the reason that we saw tonight. It raises heck with the treatment facilities. So, All right, anything else? If not, it's um, we're into open discussion. Is there anything that you wish to discuss? How about discussing an adjournment then? I'll make a motion. I'll second. Motion by Councilmember Batcher, second by Councilmember Haddlestead to adjourn the meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed no. Motion aye. carried. Aye. At what time? At 33, 833. Yeah.